Meghan Markle released the fourth episode of her podcast, Archetypes, on Tuesday. The Duchess of Sussex broke down the toxic Asian stereotypes in the first new episode of the podcast since the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a discussion with comedian Margaret Cho and journalist Lisa Ling, Meghan talked about the cultural diversity she grew up with around in Los Angeles and admitted she didn't see the racism behind certain Asian stereotypes, particularly in Hollywood, until a few years ago. She said, movies like Austin Powers and Kill Bill, they presented these caricatures of women of Asian descent as over-sexualized or aggressive. This toxic stereotyping of women of Asian descent, it doesn't just end once the credits roll. The Duchess spoke candidly about her thoughts on discrimination in Hollywood, the industry she found success in before meeting Prince Harry and becoming a member of the royal family. Her openness attracted the attention of royal commentators Rachel Bowie and Roberta Fiorito, who noted Meghan's modern and forward-thinking views. Speaking on this week's episode of Royally Obsessed, the podcast she and Ms. Fiorito co-host, Ms. Bowie suggested that Meghan and Harry are now making clear moves to distance themselves from the royal family. Describing her experience of listening to archetypes, she said, I felt like I was listening to Meghan, the podcaster or not Meghan the royal. I was tuning in because I wanted to hear the content. I wasn't looking for royal hot gossip. I was getting to know Meghan just Meghan. Read more, Sussex portraits show royal hostilities have resumed, claim Meghan stepped down from the firm almost three years ago, Image, Getty Images, Meghan's podcast, Archetypes, is released weekly on Spotify, Image, Spotify, Meghan wanted to be rejected by royal family from day one Meghan claimed royal staff refused to help her in her hour of greatest need, but they don't remember it this way. In fact, some saw Meghan's refusal of help as a deliberate strategy. Click here to read more about why staff think Meghan wanted out of the royal family from day one. Obviously the association with the royals is forever there, but I think that they really are, slowly but surely, creating that distance and making their own brand. Ms. Fiorito added, What struck me, after listening to the episode, was just how old and outdated the institution probably felt to someone like Meghan. I think hearing her candid thoughts about some of the things that she's witnessed throughout her life, some of the things that she's heard about discrimination in Hollywood, all of these things that she mentioned in the podcast. It has to feel so drab to be in an institution like the royal family, which is based on tradition. It's based on these things that don't change. And I think we've had such a cultural revolution even in our lifetimes and I think then, to have her be put in this box, it just doesn't feel like it could have ever been a fit. She's so innovative, forward-thinking and modern. And it just it felt like that institution could never hold her. Meghan Markle found success in Hollywood before marrying Prince Harry, image, Getty Images, trending it has been said before that Meghan's ambitions as a career woman proved to be a point of contention during her time as a working royal. There were rumors that the Duchess of Sussex was not happy with the hierarchy of the monarchy and did not understand why she and her husband played second fiddle to Prince William and Princess Kate. Before marrying Harry, the 41-year-old California native was an outspoken celebrity who had gotten her big break in Hollywood in the legal drama suits. She had also put a lot of effort into humanitarian and philanthropic efforts, something she wanted to focus more of her attention on when she met her future husband. The Duchess saw entering the royal family as an exciting opportunity to reach more people. During her and Harry's engagement interview in 2017, Meghan was asked, What about this new role? You're going to have a bigger platform, a bigger voice. What do you want to do with it? She responded, I think what's been really exciting, as we talk about the transition of this out of my career but into the role, is that, as you said, the causes that have been very important to me, I can focus even more energy on. 
Don't Miss Meghan Markle admitted she has a food fixation on podcast, Insight Who is your favorite member of the royal family? Poll Prince Harry obsessed with staying relevant over Prince George, revealed, Meghan and Harry announced their engagement in November 2017, Image, Getty Images, the Duchess added, because very early out of the gate, I think you realize once you have access or a voice, that people are going to listen to it that comes a lot of responsibility, which I take seriously. However, it soon became clear that becoming a member of the royal family did not mean she had the power or platform she expected. Royal author Penny Juner told Express.co.uk, I would have thought part of the appeal of marrying Harry might have been having a platform for her activism. But I think probably what she found when she arrived inside the royal family was that she couldn't be as active as she wanted to be. The biographer continued, she couldn't be as outspoken as she wanted to be. The royal family doesn't operate in that way, they don't use their position in order to make change. They use it to highlight issues and support issues but not to actually drive change. They are not as powerful as she might have thought they were. The royal family raise awareness rather than drive change, image, Getty Images, after spending just shy of two years as a working royal couple, Meghan and Harry stepped down from their senior positions within the firm, relinquished their royal duties and moved overseas. They have since pursued their own commercial and non-profit interests, including launching Archul and signing deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify. Professor Pauline McLaren of Royal Holloway University has claimed that the Duchess couldn't fit in with the royals as she is an independent career woman. The professor of marketing and consumer research told Express. Co.uk, Meghan did face difficulties coming into the royal fold. As an outsider, Meghan did find it very, very difficult to adapt to royal strictures and, of course, Meghan is a very independent career woman, so it is unsurprising that she didn't fit in, couldn't fit in, with the royals need to lose your own identity in the service of the crown. I don't really think you could expect an American to really understand that, or the need for that, or actually to want to do it, 